Hey family, how are you? So today is, what's today? Today is Thursday, December, what's today? Because at this point, I don't know the days. Today is Thursday, December 16th. I wanted to say hello, how are you? How you been family? I know I missed yesterday. <sighs> Forgive me for I have sinned. Listen, I have a Q&A coming right now. I took one. I think because I ain't drinking a while, bitch, I just poured the cup and took one gulp. And I'm woozy already. I don't understand. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I want you to grab your glass, grab your drink, tell little Ray Ray, Kiki and them, take your ass on. It's grown-up time. I'm with Auntie Jasmine right now. You get to talk to her later when she's with the kids. But right now, we being grown. So, I have a couple of new supporters on Instagram. So, you know, just so I won't be asked the same repetitive questions. I love to do these random Q&As because I like for you guys to have a place where you can be free and not get blocked. That's the only time you won't get blocked, friend, is when I say ask me anything. Because sometimes y'all be asking me stuff that it ain't really your business. You know what I mean? So, y'all know me. Don't like to beat around the bush. I'm going to be getting straight into it. Honestly, my phone keeps ringing and I keep getting interrupted because I sent Kaisha to BJ's. She's a nigga for real. That is not a female. That is all nigga. Because you ever sent the man to the store? Bitch, I gave you a list. I drew you a picture. I gave you a description. I told you what Al is in, what shelf is on. Why are you so confused? The girl done FaceTimed me 80 times. Bitch, what do you want me to do? Come to the store? Because at this point, I should have went myself. She's a nigga. Anyway. So I put up a question tab on Instagram and you guys ask me these questions and I'm going to answer it. The first question says, would you ever consider moving to Philly? Isn't Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Yeah. I definitely want to move to Pennsylvania, but I heard like Philadelphia is like a real bad part. But, you know, put me in a ghetto. Just give me a house and some grass. I would move to Philly, even though I heard it's like horrible. I hate that the news doesn't glorify the good in anything. Like, people think where I live at. I live in East New York, Brooklyn. They like, oh, shit, you get shot, what, three, four times a day? No, because they only glorify the bad. They never talk about the good. I survived this long. I'm okay. Yes, I moved to Philly. Someone said, what do you do to prepare yourself for adult time? What do you do to prepare yourself? Y'all talking about, like, sex? Like, what do I do to prepare myself? Well, first... <laughs> Nah, I don't know what y'all talking about. For adults, I'm guessing you asked me like, what do I do to prepare myself to have sex? Girl, you know, you got to be straightforward when you're talking to this friend. You can't put it in cute little words. What do you do to prepare to get bad? Well, first, like you got to give it to me straight. So, um, nothing. I just make sure I wash my cooch, make sure I'm shaved, calm and courtesy. I do a little smell test. You know, my favorite line is, I got to pee. I really want to go to the bathroom, make sure my shit is A1. And I take my panty line off because nobody don't want to be rubbing down there and it's all crunchy. Nobody don't. It's not sexy. So, yeah, that's it. After that, bow chicka wow wow. Um, what would be in your dream home if you had no budget and where? What would be in my... That's cute. I like this question. What would be in my dream home if I had no budget and where? I have so many things that I don't think I could pick one. I will have the most craziest, insane game room. I will have, I mean, like, old school Pac-Man, like the little bounce, um, like, you know, the trampoline park stuff. Like, just uh, off mommy, the chain mommy, game room. Mommy. Next question is, when are you preparing to get the fuck out of there? Honestly, I, I, I think it's because y'all on the outside looking in. So it's like, son, it's not that hard. Just get up, take your kids and leave. You being scary. And I've owned up to being scary, but I've also owned up to wanting to be financially stable. Like, so really quickly without making this video too long, I'm going to share something with y'all that happened yesterday while actually I didn't vlog because I cried for so many hours that I couldn't force myself to vlog. So I went and filled out a loan for our house completely got denied bitch denied with a big d 
and it's only because of the car all my debt is paid off and it's only because of the car and i contacted carter's dad and we had a long talk and um it's just like i'm really in a bad situation with this car um we are now like adults coming to a common ground of what we can do with this vehicle where it can better the both of us because he can't pay the car notes on time is really messing up both of our credit so we need to come to up with a plan where he can get rid of the car because financially i can't afford to take the car and i don't want the car the car is damaged too bad he's fucked that car up so we're trying to come up with a plan where we can get this car out of both of our names and off both of our hands as of right now, that car is the only thing standing in my way with me getting a loan. The only other realistic option is for me to rent. And um, renting is something I'm very open to. So that's just going to be my next steps as of now. Um, I was so hurt because uh, I never, like, filled out a paper for, like, a, a house or anything. Like, I, I, I went so deep and so far. And to see that deny, I, was, I, I felt it out with confidence, both, first of all, because I said, you know what? I'm lit, like, all my debt is paid off. I work hard for this, like, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. How do you feel about having different baby daddies? The question is, how do I feel about having different baby daddies? Um, I don't feel any way about it. I think that if I could, if I could do things all over again, I'll definitely, I can't even say do it the right way. How many of y'all got one baby daddy and he ain't shit? Right. How many of y'all got multiple kids by one guy and he ain't shit? Right. How many of y'all got babies by your husband and he ain't shit? Right. So I don't think there's no like, how do I feel about it? I feel like it's my story, it's my truth that happens. And it's my reality, it's just taboo. When people hear I got four kids, let alone three baby daddies, they be like, say what? Oh my God. Like, no. Three different guys ain't pull out. I don't know what you want me to say, sis. Um, Next question, tips on how to feel confident as a plus size woman. Embrace it. Girl, embrace it. That's the only, you even embrace it or change it. Ain't not really much you can do about it. I got fat in places that fat ain't even supposed to be, baby. But at this point, it's there. Ain't not, not just make it sexy. Oil it up. I don't know. It's yours. Take it or leave it. Um, what is your one wish for all of your children? I wish for them to be better than me. Anything that I've ever done, anything I've ever tried to accomplish, anything that I did accomplish, I hope they do it times 10. I want them to be everything that I dreamed to be. Are you and Kay going to have that threesome? We are not having no threesome, girl. That, she will cry. Soon as this lead go up and this thing get tooted up, and I look back at that person and make one little moan, them tears gonna flow, bitch. She gonna be heart broken. She can't handle it. Um, what are the girl's middle name? That's cute. Uh, Alyssa Mariah, Faith Selena, Michaela Chazelle, and Carter Anthony. Okay. Can you do a video on how to start working from home or to start a YouTube? I actually did video. Still like a. Can you do a video on how to start working from home? I actually did a video like that. I'll leave the link down below in the description box. Do you really see yourself leaving New York without your mother? Um, yeah, of course. I'm not gonna go too far from her now, but I leave New York. I go to PA. I go upstate New York, Jersey. I'm not going to go to West Africa now. I'm not going nowhere where it ain't a few hours away on a plane or a ride now. Planning to come out with any merchandise. It's going to say at this point. Look, at this point. The next question is, how long did it take you to make money on YouTube? What was the process? It took me two months to get monetized, meaning to earn income. And the process was a lot so you can definitely like Google how to get monetized on YouTube and it'll let you know because that's a lengthy video within itself. Um, love your family. Do you and Kaisha plan on having any children together? Hell no. I don't want no more kids. Absolutely not. I don't know, baby girl. What made you know you were interested in the opposite sex? Well, I've been humping coochies since I was little. 
I, I, I knew that I loved women since I probably was like 11. I think 11 is probably when I kissed my first girl. What the fuck was I doing? But I kissed my first girl at 11. And I think that I, 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 everything as an adult, a woman's touch is just different. Like, I love boobies. I love butt. I love fat. I love a woman's soft skin. Oh, come here. Bring that here. Like, I love it. Ugh. Come on for this turn into Pornhub. Let me get into the next question. Do you miss the D sometimes? Not never. I didn't miss it when I had it. Uh, the next question is, um, what is one thing you wish to heal from? And how would you heal from it? Mm, yes, therapist. Um, one thing that I wish to heal from. Mm, I have a hard time with I don't know what's the right word like I can't I, I can't find stability in nobody because I have a hard time with like letting my guard down in that area like you know how some people say we can move in together you go half on the bills I go half on the bills you go I, I can't trust in nobody that much because you may not come up with your half and I may end up homeless and I can't I can't take that risk but when you truly in love you put your trust in your love in someone and I think that's something I need to heal from the next question is do you ever regret having so much of your life online um in the beginning I did I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna hold you I said oh wow this is crazy um, but now I don't because you know what? For every one person that judges me, belittles me, talk crap about me, do, do horrible, nasty things to me, there's 10 other people that's saying like, thank you for talking about that. I'm so happy you touched this subject. You pulled me through this depression. You made me know that I'm not the only one out here feeling this way. Thank you for bringing this to light. I didn't think other women was going through this. Thank you for helping me not feel so embarrassed. My DMs go dumb. Go dumb. But women you wouldn't even believe it like even with having a 19 baby daddies and four kids people be like yo i mean i'd be so afraid to tell my story and i know how it feels so mm -mm, not no more i don't regret it in the beginning i did now no i don't what did it feel like to move out on your own for the first time oh my god let me tell y'all a quick story this is gonna be longer than i thought i ain't want this video to be so long so i'm gonna make it quick First time I ever, 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 ever stepped foot out of my mother's house. Um, a situation happened in my mom's house. I was really frustrated, really over it. And I put my kids on their book bags and I went to shelter. New York City shelter to the Bronx, the path. Thugged it with my kids there. They put me in, I was afraid. I was in a path for hours, but that's a different story. They put me in this apartment building two bedroom own living room oh it was cr fully furnished it was dope i was there for two weeks before they rejected me it was the first time me feeling like i was on my own i had to be about 21. first time me ever being on my own. i'm lying i was older than 21. i had faith faith had to be one so faith is how old right now how old is she you know i got a lot of them faith how old are you nine um, Faith was nine. Girl, I don't fucking know how old she is. So, however old I was, I felt it. It was beautiful. The day I went back home to my mother's house when they kicked me out the shelter, I said, I'm out of here. I can't live like this and I cannot live here and I cannot coexist with humans. Ever since then, I've been out on my own and it has felt off. Speaking of trauma, you just, you just told me something I really need to heal from. I don't know how to coexist with people. I grew up in a really, really crazy situation as far as living. And now that I've been on my own for so many years, I love my space and I'm so afraid to share it. That's something I need to heal from. Mm, girl, speak about it. Who's more dominant in the bedroom? What y'all think? Y'all gonna say it's me because I'm big, right, bitch? You judging people already and I don't like that. I don't like that. Honestly, short stuff. My baby's so tiny and so little and she takes so much control. I can't wait till this video is over. I'm gonna get out of here stuff tonight. 
the question is why are you getting your body done is it for health reasons first of all since i wish i was getting my body done i wish mommy make over me i'm not getting my body done i'm getting weight loss surgery um i'm getting weight loss surgery for health reasons that i have yet to feel comfortable about talking on this camera um i don't think it's because i'm embarrassed i don't want to use the word embarrassed i think is um unsettling so i'm not ready to share yet i just actually told kaisha about it yesterday i don't think i'm embarrassed um the next question is how is it being a stepmom do you get along with Cairo's other mom i have a blended family i don't know her um i know of her i've never formally met her i've been in the same vicinity as her a lot of times but i've never been formally introduced to her um i don't know i can't i guess i can't answer that question because i don't know her <laughs> i don't know okay what happened my dad has dinosaurs on it your presents have dinosaurs on it yeah carter and they're so red he was up the red one when he was big up there that's not for you my parents have dinosaurs those are not yours i don't care to take mine only way you get presents is if you be a good boy. I'm going to go I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some of my presents. <laughs> I'm a good boy. Uh, you're a good boy, so you want your presents? Yeah. Who said you're a good boy? Um, Santa. Okay, so when Christmas comes, you can open your presents. Yeah. Say bye to everybody. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Say, make sure you like. Make sure you like. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. That's the bell below.